Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Ashman Resales. If it's your first time here, I'm a full-time reseller for about 10 years now. I mainly sell on Amazon FBA. I do some eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. Uh, first of all, I just want to say appreciate all the support I've been getting. Two weeks ago, I had like 80 subscribers. Now I'm close to 700, so I appreciate all that. In today's video, I went to four lows in four different cities in one day. We bought all kinds of different things, showed you the prices, the cost, the, the profits. I showed you everything. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. I just arrived at Lowe's and Baseline on Baseline in Phoenix, Arizona, Sunday, 7 a.m. in the morning. It's empty out here, so hopefully, you know, we're able to clean up in here while everyone sleep. Good morning. So the first thing we spotted today was this telescoping wand. I've seen this in other videos, so I think this is a nationwide deal from 150 to 40 bucks, but as you can see from Amazon, it's not that great a deal because it sells for the same price. Uh, the first thing I bought was this uh, irrigator. I had never seen it before. And the good part was when I got to the register, it was actually $6, so that was real nice. I struggled getting it down, though, so I had to speed it up a little bit. In the cart you go. So right down the same aisle here, I came up on these thermocells. I guess it's some kind of bug repellent, but it was from $22 down to five bucks. On Amazon, there's a whole bunch of resellers that have dropped the price. So what I'll do is I'll buy them and I'll just wait a month or two, and then I'll send them in when the price goes back up. This was an easy no brainer buy for me. Now there was one way in the back here, although I'm 6'5", 250 pounds of pure muscle, sometimes I can't reach things. So here's an expert piece of advice, you get this little hangy stick, right? You pull it off and then you, do, you use that little hook part and you get what you need, you get what you need. You gotta knock it over, slide it up, and then you're good to go. If you're not 6'5", 250, pure muscle like I am. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So here are some outdoor accessories, clocks and thermometers on clearance here. Just thought I'd show it to you, nothing to resell. But it's still there if you want it, if you're in the area of Phoenix. We have some air conditioners here, 120 bucks off, seems like a good deal. And then there's also another one here that was 630, now it's 500 bucks. So if you need some air, for the summertime there there you go here is the clearance section the end cap i'm not much of a digger that's d as in dog so i i don't do well with these but i did see this uh 200 200 dollars down to 50. Um, i did scan it on amazon fba there was no listing for it i don't even think this part goes in there that's a mistake one thing i should have done was check ebay listings but i you know I slipped up here. I slipped up. Once it wasn't on Amazon, I just gave up on it and left it there. But here are a few other items that were on clearance. I just ran through the barcodes here. Might be at your local Lowe's. So over in the tool section, found this little craftsman. I don't know if it's like a beginner set or something, but 15 bucks. 
It's a pretty good deal. And I found this Scotch mounting tape at a couple, couple different stores. I didn't realize tape got that expensive, but it was a pretty good price. These were marked incorrectly. Um, they were $62. So I did end up buying both of these. If you see something on clearance at a Lowe's, always just double check the price because it may be lower. I ran into that several times, even at this store. I couldn't find a price for this, but I knew it was on clearance at all the other stores. That price is for the item underneath. I did eventually find the price under the box. And there you go, 45 bucks. So we picked this up as well. And then at the register, you can see that uh, the first item I bought was $6.24 instead of 10. And I saved 650 bucks, spent 216.32. Pay now. This might be the biggest clearance. This is right outside, right before I walked outside, I've spotted this. It was 180 and now it's 179.95 and 100 now 99.95. This has to be the biggest clearance. So I'm just now leaving this first Lowe's. It's daylight now. It was tough in there, it was tough in there. But I'm happy I went to the customer service desk because these were marked 125 in the store. I asked if they were price matched to other stores clearance prices. She said no, but the price may be wrong. So she looked it up for me and it was wrong. These were $62. I should have thought of that because I've been finding wrong prices at all the other lows, but just didn't cross my mind. I uh, picked up another one of these, 45 bucks. And this patio shield, I was able to um, get approved for it. Sometimes it's as easy as uh, getting approval for an item. You have to click the bottom right hand part of the screen. I'll probably put up a little side screen so you can see what I'm talking about. And then you just uh, ask for approval and sometimes they just give you approval right away. So we're on to the next one. Now we are still on Baseline Road, but in Tempe, Arizona. I'm all over the place. Let's go get this money. So right when you walk in the door at this Lowe's, they had a few carts filled up with Christmas stuff, 75% off the lowest price. So if you're into this kind of thing, they're basically giving it away. So this is where I did my damage. Small, disposable. So starting at the top here, we found this mini pest chaser on clearance for $7.50. You can see on Amazon sells for $22, $15 after fees. Small, light, good reviews. And then also next to, I had never saw this before, it's for mice, pest chaser, some kind of speaker. Sells for 30, I'll get 20 back after the fee, so I'll make about $8 profit on that. I mean, you guys know about this already. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I've bought this at every single Lowe's I've been to. As you can see, the price right now is $5 for Amazon, but Amazon sells out all the time. So when they sell out, the price will go back up to $15 a box, and that's how much I'll, oh, I'll make $7 after fees. This item, I'll put this on eBay. I've sold on eBay many times before. It's always a quick seller. And then on it, to the left of that cart were these Craftsman thermometers. I had never seen Craftsman before. Um, well, this specific item, so I was pretty excited to find it on clearance. Here's something to pay attention to. The fees, the selling price may look good, but you gotta pay attention to the fees on Amazon, so this was not worth buying. These batteries look like they have been sitting for a long, long time, but I would've still bought them if there was money to be made, but there was not, only $3. But it's a great price if you just wanna pick it up for your own personal use. Here's a drill press, not much off, but save $10. 
I bought a storage locker one time and it was full of Porter Cable stuff. I had never even heard of the brand before, but I made a lot of money, a lot of money with this brand. So I never forgot it. And next up, we have a retractable tethering kit. I have no idea what this even is or does. I don't, I don't have a clue. And then we have an Orbit gutter blaster on clearance here. Half price. Never seen this before either. And lastly here, they had all their Timberland Pro and cat stuff on clearance. The hat, socks. I never knew Lowe's sold socks. They Lowe's sells everything. You just have to go store to store to see exactly what they have. All right, we're outside our second Goodwill here. Or not, I keep on saying Goodwill. I'm so used to going there. Lowe's paid $176 total. I've got 12 of these things. I've sold these on eBay before. I don't know if they sell in wintertime, but in the summertime, these will be gone real fast. I make $5 a piece every time I sell them. I, uh, I put them together in 1999 and I ship them in a flat rate envelope. So it's not a huge profit, but it's still a profit. You already know about these. Buck forty seven a piece. And this Victor. This brand sell, sells really well. Every time I find it, I buy it. I mean it's just easy money. So I'm actually uh I'm actually gonna go to one more low. I got time for one more in Tempe. I think it's down the street somewhere. It's down some street, so uh I'll meet you guys over there. We're at the final goodwill for today in uh Chandler, Arizona. Ray Road. Let's see what's going on in there. We'll see. I came up on some real good tool clearances. Uh, Cobalt. Cobalt has clearance all the time. It's just not right now. They they have the most extreme clearances out of every any brand I've noticed where I'm from. Um, so here's something thirty bucks for fifteen. Seems like a pretty good deal. I'm not an expert on the tools, but it seems like a good deal. Then we have this uh, screwdriver set, half off. I showed this in my last video too. Then this Crescent two-pack jab saws, five bucks. And then a tool, cobalt tool bag. Now here's something you never wanna buy to resell or just for your personal use, it's no good trash don't ever get that nothing cardinals next up i spotted these spark plugs it doesn't seem like much but if you need them that's a great price to stock up on it and then here are store specific clearance items see this is what doesn't make sense to me is that lowe's won't sell the display item which is brand new just sitting there on the shelf for a year but they'll sell something that's been returned and missing parts or something might be wrong. They'll sell, they'll resell that. So they lose me. They lose me there. Here's another great clearance price for a Porter cable sander. Save 60 bucks on it. Not to resell, obviously, but if you need it, great price. I was real excited when I saw this, 120 to 33 bucks. I was like, oh, there's a bunch of them, but nah. They missed the wrong models. Of course, they were sold out of it. Now, here was a good deal. Spending this much scares me to resell stuff. Um, I was thinking about it till I saw that Amazon was selling it for $520. And in this price range, I don't like to gamble with it, so I left it behind. Um, at every store, these carbon monoxides, different brands and stuff have been on clearance. And I've seen this in multiple videos, so I think this is a nationwide deal with these cobalt work lights. And here are some more tapes I was mentioning earlier that are on clearance. I probably should have bought them. I should have bought them. And this is the four flows. I wasn't expecting to go here. I would just, well, I just went to go buy some boxes and I ran across this thing, so I started recording. As you can see, it was $400 on clearance for 100 Sales for $420 all day on Amazon. So I was really excited. I opened it up to make sure it was still new. And this is what I saw. So to me, it looks like somebody bought it, took it out the box, put it back in the box and returned it. 
everything was still in mint condition here's the battery here's the battery charger I mean so I did end up buying it I'm just gonna repack it real good I'll show you a little bit more of it in the car once I get to the car but here are some more clearance deals some tools chisels and this combo set I've seen this in other videos where it was $45 in their store here it was 75 not enough meat on the bone to make money and I'm sure there was only one there so I'm sure it's gone this is in surprise surprise Arizona by the way and I was gonna pick these up but they've all been opened and the box were, the boxes were mangled so I left it behind I did pick up these side cutter it's only six dollars i was gonna get all four of them but two of them were missing the label the uh the barcode and the plastic wrap around it so i did leave those because if you ship that to a customer they're gonna be like this is this isn't brand new at the time of me buying this item there are none for sale on amazon i've sold these before by the way so i'm gonna put them for 39.99 you can always sell stuff for higher when there's no competition. And just because it's Amazon and the convenience of it, people just pay more. I just left low I just came to this Lowe's this is my home Lowe's basically right around the corner just to get a box I was here yesterday and this was not here 100% if it was there it was in the back room but I want to give you guys a better look at it um, comes with the the blade attachment the battery I showed you in the store the battery charger uh, yeah so this sells all day for for 420 on Amazon I think what happened was a person bought it online, returned it, like they literally opened the box, opened everything, put it back in the box and returned it. And they put it on clearance for a hundred bucks, but it doesn't look used at all. Um, now I picked up these two things. I'll just put this in the same box as those long rods I bought earlier in the video. With Amazon, you have to ship small stuff with small stuff. This would be like a medium size item, so they'll go together, but I'll get into that in a uh, future video. But real happy with this. Walked in to buy those three boxes. Walked out with a $400 item. So hopefully I make a couple hundred dollars. And uh, that'll do it. That'll, I was already done with this video. Well, done for the day, but now nah, I'm really done. I'm pretty happy with that. They also had that nice combo set in there, that Craftsman drill, and the, uh, the saw. That saw. So that was real nice. I'm just not in the business. I'm not in the business of uh, paying $85 to make $15 after all the fees and stuff. But that's a real good deal if you want to pick it up for your own self. But uh, that'll wrap up today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. I read them all. I'll see you next time.